Good morning guys, happy Monday. These are the snacks I'm taking to work. I have a carrot carrot orange. I have one of these paninos uh, with the salami wrapped with the cheese and then I have an apple. Per usual, I'm going to have myself a protein coffee. I had to take this to work because I had an appointment first thing this morning and so I had to do all my coffee and all my breakfast at work. So I just have uh, three shots of Nespresso and then one of the Caramel Premier Proteins. Then for breakfast, I had some oatmeal. So I had some sugar-free maple brown sugar oatmeal from um, Walmart and then a banana. For lunch today, I'm having my veggie pasta. It is so good. Check out my meal prep video to see how I make this. It's one pot. Amazing. Also, my meal prep video, I show you how I put together a couple of dinners. One of them is this meatball tortellini spinach soup. So check out my meal prep video. It'll be linked down below. Um, this was all ready to go in my freezer. Just pulled it down in my freezer, let it thaw out. I added some broth to it, put it in the pot, brought it to a boil, and then it was this uh, so good. Oh my gosh, and this made really good leftovers. Um, the family ate it for leftovers, so good. Um, this is what it looks like in my bowl. You can add a little bit of cheese on top, so I added a little bit of grated Parmesan on top, and that was amazing, you guys. Definitely check out that video. For breakfast today, I'm gonna have a broiled grapefruit. I simply just put this under the broiler. I have a little bit of sucre and gold brown sugar, which is a sugar-free brown sugar substitute. I have a blackberry Greek yogurt, and then I have my my last one of my cafe latte. This is one of my favorite ones. Um, I'm gonna mix this with um, two sh or three shots of Nespresso espresso coffee. So this will be my breakfast today. For the snacks I'm gonna take to work, I have an apple, a sugar-free Jello, one of these hard salami paninos, some cucumbers. Um, orange bell pepper and some everything hummus. I get the everything hummus at Walmart. It is really, really good. So definitely highly recommend that hummus. For lunch today, I'm having my other lunch that I meal prepped, which was a turkey pesto sandwich. Check out that meal prep video. I threw this in my air fryer for 10 minutes and it was perfection. Happy Wednesday doing my exercise bike this morning per usual. Here are my snacks I'm gonna bring with me to work today. Now, as always, I don't eat all of these. These are just things I like to have on hand. Um, sometimes I usually end up eating these like throughout the entire day, even after I get home from work. So I have two of these uh, sausage, turkey toss sausage snack sticks. I get these at Walmart. I have a light um, string cheese, one of these Fiber One protein bars, a uh, caramel corn rice cake, and then a Dan Light Fit yogurt. Hi guys, happy Wednesday. I only have a few minutes. Oh, I don't know what time it is. I think it's just right at seven. Um, I chatted a little bit yesterday, but it was really scattered. That's kind of how my brain was yesterday. We all have like these dates, I'm sure we all do, where we just don't feel our best. We don't feel confident, we don't feel positive. And that's kind of how I was yesterday. Um, I was kind of like that all weekend. Things have been just really tough right now. And um, main, it's stemming mainly from, so my, my husband's psychiatrist retired and they he goes to this clinic where he sees his nurse, his um, general practitioner and his um, psychiatrist. Well, he retired and he's been seeing him for a long time and it took his previous, mental health provider he went to before like was more of a drug pusher and she never really diagnosed anything. He was never diagnosed with anything until he stopped started seeing a psychiatrist. So she was just trying different drugs on him, wasn't adjusting them properly. It was a mess. By the time we found his psychiatrist, he had to do a completely, completely redo his drug regimen. It was, he was so under medicated for one thing and she hadn't diagnosed him properly or diagnosed him at all. Um, the only thing she treated him well for was PTSD. That's the only thing that she treated him for that was the correct medication. The rest of it was just all over the place. And she was more of a drug pusher. She pushed all these new drugs where I'm sure she was getting like some sort of kickback for them. I don't know. I'm pretty, I've heard that before. Anyway, um, so now he retired and, um, it's just, it's been worrying us not finding somebody because it's really, really hard to find somebody. And we'd like somebody in his same doctor's office because it's a large clinic and 
all, you know, it just seems like they all talk to each other and, you know, it's his medical records are there. So his general practitioner was going to take it over and just help him with his medication and whatever the best she could until they brought on some mental health providers. And he actually just wanted to see his general practitioner, but I kept telling him, I really think he needs to see a mental health provider, mainly just because I feel like they're like more in the know of maybe what, you know, like if he mentions, okay, I'm feeling like this or I'm feeling like this or this, his other doctor just knew immediately what to do with his drugs. And I have a feeling that his general practitioner, her just being a regular general medical doctor would have to consult with somebody else to know what to do. That's just my perception. I don't know if that's true or not. Anyway, they did end up hiring a um, mental health nurse practitioner. So he has to see her on March 7th or March 10th. I can't remember one or the other because he has another appointment on one of those days. So that was the earliest they could get him in, but she's going ahead and she's filling his medications now. Um, but it's been really rough because he's been really struggling with the depression. It's super bad. Like he has just a mood disorder that causes his moods to be up and down. And right now it's just down and it's just really tough. I mean, it's really, really tough. And so it's been like that now for a little bit. Um, it's been like that for a while, um, for about the last month or so, but it's been, it's just getting worse. So I don't know. I mean, I told him, I said, maybe we need to try to get you in sooner. If we tell them the situation, they may do that. I don't know. It's not to the point where he can't work or anything like that. Like we've been down that road. It's just an underlying thing that's going on. And I don't know, yesterday for some reason, I think after the weekend we had, and then just coming off of such a busy week at work and then all this going on over the weekend. Um, Monday was not a bad day, but for some reason yesterday, I just, I don't know, just this feeling. It was just, I just felt negative all day. I just had no confidence. I felt just, I think it's just the stress. I felt so scattered. I felt, one thing I did not do was like binge on anything, which I really wanted to, so instead I did the opposite, which I think is just as bad and I just didn't eat. So you saw my protein coffee. I had that in the morning. I did have a yogurt. Um, I did eat my um, veggies and hummus. Um, no, I started eating them. I'm not finished eating them. Um, they're still in my refrigerator at work. Um, what else did I have? I had my sugar-free jello and then I came home and I don't, I just had this like feeling if I ate, it wouldn't be good. I mean, so again, instead of, and I just, I, I still am like having some issues, like wrapping my mind around, like, am I even eating the right amount of calories and these are the right kind of macros. I can't afford to go to, go to a coach right now because of my husband's health. He had to change when he had to change jobs, the job he had to take was like $9 less an hour. So I really wanted to hire a coach, but I, I just can't like every penny right now, it, before every penny I was making, like off of YouTube was going into our savings. Now it's to cover bills. Like I cannot, I just don't have anything extra right now. Um, so it's, um, <clears throat> I don't, I think I mentioned that he changed jobs. He has Parkinson's as well, early, early, early onset, but his tremors are getting a lot worse and he couldn't do his previous job because things were, he was dropping things and things were knocking over and things like that. So he had to take something that wasn't as physical and also worked well with his schedule. He's more of a night person, whereas I'm more of a day person. So now he's working, that's why he's working the nights. Anyway, um, I'm just really struggling with structure right now. Like I know I have my, my tracker and I have like, these are the, how many calories, but these are something that I set and I'm just second guessing myself. So I really, I, but I really wasn't hungry yesterday, but I still felt like I could have eaten something. But when I saw like my ground turkey I took out for my stir fry, it was still frozen. It just like, okay, that's it. I'm not eating then. Like this, I mean, I don't know. It was weird. I threw like this internal fit or something where I was like, okay, that's the last straw. This is telling me something. I'm just not going to eat. So I'm just going to have that. So I'm like, it'll be thought out by tomorrow. I'll just have it on Wednesday. Um, I don't know. It was just a weird feeling. And so I just didn't have anything in the rest of the day. Um, and I wasn't hungry. I'm not hungry now, which is really weird. I think it's just the stress. I am drinking some coffee right now. Um, I don't know. It's just super weird. I feel like I need some structure. I feel like even though, like I said, I have my calories, I have my macros, it matches. The, I checked like four or five different things online to try to come up with these. I let the app do it for me. Everything came out about the same. same. So I think I'm okay, 
but I don't know. It's just like driving me crazy. I don't know. I'm really contemplating trying um, the new WW program mainly because I can get it for free. I told you guys I would never pay for it again because I don't want to pay for a program. I just don't like the idea of that because you know I've always loved WW but just did not like to have to pay for it. And my previously my insurance would only pay for three months worth, but now it pays for it hundred percent. You can get the 360 coaching thing, you can get like the higher level digital one for free. So I'm really, really complicated contemplating doing that. Um, because I got a thing with about it at work and it said, you know, oh it's all free, da da da, just use this code. So I don't know. I, I may just play around with it the rest of this month and then do like an official like let's do it for an entire month of like March and see how it goes. Um, maybe that'll give me some structure. I don't know. I'm just I'm feeling a little lost right now. And also when I had my doctor's appointment, that gave me like something to look forward to because I had a goal. And it was like, okay, my goal was the goal we set ourselves, me and my me and my doctor together set ourselves to do 10 pounds by my three-month follow-up. And I did 12. Great, great job. My next appointment is six months away. So actually, I guess, but we didn't set ourselves a goal. <laughs> and so I don't know why I need, so I said like, I need like this coaching or something for somebody to give me a goal. Right now, I can't trust myself to be the person. I don't know. I know that's sad because I should be doing it for myself, which I am, but it's like, I need like this. I don't know. I need somebody to say, okay, let's set ourselves a goal. I don't know, you guys. Maybe I'm just like, I know I'm just babbling and I'm sorry for those of you that are just here to see what I ate and probably fast forwarding through this. Great. <laughs> Do that because I'm a little scattered. Um, but maybe I just need to set myself a six month goal because I go back in six months. So maybe I just need to set myself a six month goal, whether it's 15 pounds, 20 pounds. I feel like I could do 20. Is that too much? I don't know. Maybe I should do 15 just to make sure I don't like fail. I could be pleasantly surprised. I don't know. Anywho, I'm sorry, you guys. I know I'm just babbling. I'm gonna drink my coffee, go get my Premier Protein coffee ready. And this morning I have a meeting like right at eight o'clock. I have a new hire training with like eight new people. So that'll be my morning. Um, anyway, it's going to be a good day. It is going to be a good day. It's going to be a better day. Yes. Good day. For breakfast today, I'm having an English muffin, a banana, and then also my usual protein coffee with the Premier Protein in caramel. I am loving this protein in the morning, but I was a little bit hungry today, so I decided to add that English muffin and banana, which was wonderful. This is the 100 calorie Thomas English muffins. For lunch today, my boss took us out, and so I had my usual at our Mexican restaurant, uh, chicken carnitas, has bell peppers, onions, and then... Uh, rice and beans, and then flour tortillas. So I just kind of estimated the calories on this one. It was an unexpected, unplanned day. You guys know one of my go-to dinners is a stir fry. So I have some ground turkey. I have this bag of teriyaki vegetables, a zucchini, a half of a bell pepper, some of this G Hughes uh, sweet chili sugar-free sauce, and then the sugar-free teriyaki. Simply just ground up the ground turkey, <clears throat> added the vegetables, in there and then I have also a half of a cup of brown rice oh, you guys amazing amazing dinner and lots and lots of veggies almost done with this puzzle I started this weekend I hate how I have just these little like one pieces I can't find Good morning guys, happy Thursday. Today is a work from home day. I still do my, I have a lot of people ask me like, is it just like a casual, like you just work or whatever? No, my, I sit down at my desk at 7.30, work until 4.30, take my regular lunch, take, you know, breaks, that kind of thing. But it's just not in the office, but it's still my regular um, nine to five, but in my case, 7.30 to 4.30, you know, jobs. So, um, Anyway, I actually got done with my like, well, I'm not completely done with my morning routine. Um, I still have to put a load of laundry in. I have it in the washroom, just waiting for my husband to get home because I want to put the clothes that he's wearing in there. Then that way I'm just completely caught up, but I'm not really caught up y'all. Let me show you. Been sucking at my night routine. So I have a load of laundry there. I have a load of laundry. Well, actually this is like two loads of laundry and a load of laundry there to fold. There's my desk, it's kind of a mess, but it is what it is. Um, anyway, yeah, I've not been doing my night routine very well. I've been working on my puzzle 
And so it's like every day this week I've been doing puzzles instead of that. And plus I've been doing an audio book. And so um, I've been doing like my kind of self-care um, mental like relief that I usually have to try to like stay off of screens. You know, I told you guys that's one of my goals is to shut down earlier in the evening. Well, um, and by doing that, I wanted to read at least 60 minutes um, or do a puzzle at least 60 minutes a night. That's just to kind of unwind and turn my brain off. Well, I've been listening to an audiobook, and so I've had an audiobook and the puzzle going at the same time. I finished my audiobook yesterday, so good. I've only read two books this month. Um, read physically, read one, and then had an audiobook. Um, and we're halfway through the month. Oh well, um, it just won't be. I, my goal is four books, so I need to find another book to read because that's my goal each month is four books. Um, that that's, makes me know that I am spending less time you know, watching something. My brain gets so stimulated by watching TV shows that I do notice I don't sleep as well if I don't kind of wind down. Anyway, so I've not been doing my night routine. So these next couple of nights, my husband's schedule changed. Um, so he actually, because of the schedule change, he has to work eight days in a row before the schedule change takes effect. And so I'm gonna have plenty of time over this next, um, this weekend and stuff to get things completely caught up so I can get back on a routine. Anyway, I'm uh, making my husband some breakfast. I'm not hungry at all. So I think I'm just gonna do my premier protein coffee. That's what I've been doing. It's been keeping me full. I do have a really good recipe. Well, I haven't made it before, so I can't say it's a good recipe yet. It's a really fun one. It's like a one pot um, spaghetti type thing. And you, I'm gonna use some spicy, the spicy um, Cajun sausages with some basil, some of the linguine from Fiber Gourmet. And you just do it all in one pot. I'm very curious about it. So that will be at the end of this video and then whatever I have for lunch, which I think is just going to be a big salad. I'm out of all my meal preps. So I'm either gonna do like a, I might do like a roll up or something. Not sure, I don't know what I'll do. Um, I have some salad left, I have those chicken cutlets, but I really kind of feel like, like a tortilla roll because I do have some lunch meat I need to use up. I have some buffalo, um, chicken buffalo lunch meat that I need to use up. So I may like do like a roll up or something with um, laughing cow cheese or something. I don't know, you'll see what I end up doing. Um, anyway, yeah, so I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm feeling a little bit better today mentally. Um, I think I just need to get my house in order and get back on my routines. My morning routine has been great. It's just been my evening routine has just been kind of blah which makes my morning kind of hectic normally but like today like i said i got done pretty early which was good anyway okay i better go grab the breakfast and then oh i'm drinking some coffee my coffee lately has been really boring that's why i haven't really been showing it to you it's literally just been um my french roast which oh my gosh that i didn't realize how much i missed french roast coffee so this french roast coffee that i put in my french press and um i just been doing a squirt of vanilla skinny syrup and then some sweetener and then just putting in some just regular like just some of the vanilla nut pods and that's it really super simple like no flip no you know no frill whatever <laughs> um but anyway I know, then i'm drinking my protein coffee to get that protein in the morning and that's what i've been doing Alrighty, guys um i will check in with you a little bit for lunch i just did decide to do a wrap so i have one of the low carb mission wraps the um, turkey, I mean, sorry, buffalo chicken breast. I have a laughing cow cheese wedge. I just made myself a little wrap um, with that. And then I also have some bell pepper, cucumber, and some of the Bolt House Ranch dip or dressing to dip my veggies in. This was a really good lunch. For dinner tonight, I am making a one pot pasta dish, I guess the second one this week. So I have some of this Fiber Gourmet Light Linguine, the Adele's Cajun Style Andouille Sausage, two cups of grape tomatoes, I use three cups of spinach, a half a cup of Parmesan cheese, and then this entire thing of chicken broth. So just cut up everything up. I also, also needed some minced garlic and some onion. You just cut up your veggies, cut up your sausage, and then you just throw it all in one pot. Add in your um, broth. So depending on how much pasta you use, this was only eight ounces of pasta. So I actually only ended up using two cups of broth. Put it all in there, brought it to a boil, put the lid on there, and then just let it simmer until the sauce reduced down. Once the sauce was reduced down most of the way, I probably could have did a little bit less chicken broth because this wasn't very much pasta. 
um, but then I added in my half of a cup of Parmesan cheese on top, it gave that a good stir, and then I did add just a tiny bit of Parmesan cheese, mainly just for picture purposes, <laughs> so I could get that, you know, you could see it on there, but you guys, this was really good, and one pot, that's it, just one pot, you don't have to cook your pasta ahead of time, this came out perfect. Hey guys, so I am heading to bed, closing out this week's video. I had an interesting week. So as you saw, I ended up going out to lunch one day this week with my um, boss and coworkers. Um, so that was kind of, you know, not planned. And then the day that I just was not doing very good mentally, I did not have dinner that day, just mostly had snacks that day, which my body does not react well to that. Like my body likes, to have food and I do notice on the weeks that I'm that I'm just not doing well very well mentally I'm not eating even if I'm not like overeating I'm under eating and my body does not respond well to that and I I so what I'm gonna say is I weighed in today so I've maintained this week which I was gonna say doesn't surprise me because I feel like attitude is everything and at least that's just how I how I roll. Like I really feel like if I have a nice positive attitude, I feel like this is gonna be a great week, like at work, a great week with you know my health journey, that everything's gonna be good and then I lose and I feel good. But if I have just a bad week and I'm just not doing well, I'm feeling very negative, which is what I've been kind of feeling most of the week, I know I'm not gonna have a good week. And normally, I do have to give myself a little bit of a non-scale victory is that normally I would have totally just said, you know what, forget this week. I will start new next week. I, yeah, just forget it all. And I would just have whatever I want to eat, go out to eat, pick something, take out, up, you know, something. But I did not do that. And I had every opportunity to be able to do that, but I did not. Sorry, I am super sleepy. Um but I didn't do that. So that is a good non-scale victory because normally when I'm in this kind of headspace, that's what I would do. But I, I, I fought through that. So, I mean, the, the temptation was there. It definitely was there and I, um, definitely resisted. So definitely good non-scale victory. That being said, I have a three day weekend. I am going to try to get myself into a really good headspace when it comes to work. I think next week, I feel like next week will be a lot better because I'm for one thing, I'm starting fresh. That is what got me kind of going this way because Monday I started out, okay, um, started off with a clean email box. You know, I, that's why I always, it's kind of like my home. You know, I like on Sundays in my home, I, you know, I like to get everything, reset everything. You guys know I have my whole routine, my weekend routine where I just reset everything. We start anew. And that's the same thing I do with work Fridays. I try to spend the last hour of my day on Friday just cleaning out my email box and making sure that I have a clean email box. Only things in there are things that I cannot do. I'm waiting for other people. I always feel really good, nice relief going into the weekend and then going in Monday. But things just got so chaotic this week that I got so overwhelmed, but also just got, it just, it was coming too fast that I couldn't get caught up at any point this week. So, I think that's also attributed to my mood. And like I was saying, the things going on with my husband and stuff. And it's just, it was just too much. But it just got me just so negative And I hate that. Like I do not, it drains me. It makes me feel just terrible. Um, so anyway, my goal this weekend was having a three-day weekend. We have Monday off. Um, it's just like a closed day for us. It's not like a holiday for, for at least for our agency. We don't get paid for it. It's just a closed day. I only have, and I'm definitely looking forward to spring break. We have a whole week off in March, which is like the week of March 21st, I believe. So counting down those days, I know I have four more weeks, but hey, just knowing that's in the future, I know I can just, yeah. So that is my plan, just to try to be a little bit more positive next week. Um, anyway, yeah, so... Hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. I know it was just a little bit different because I d wasn't very cohesive cohesive this week. Definitely not very cohesive meals this week, but I got through if I got through. So let me know how you guys are doing. Let me know anything on your meal plan for next week. If you've already meal planned or when you're watching this, let me know because I'm going to be meal planning over the next couple of days. Um, even though Monday is a day off, I think my 
videos will still be regular schedule because I don't want to get off of my schedule because this has been going really good with the um, Saturday, Sunday, and or Saturday, no, what have I been doing? Sunday, Monday, Fridays. Um, I may have an extra video up next week since I do have an extra day off. I do have a couple of video ideas in my head. So I will probably have an extra video up on Wednesday, but anywho. Okay, guys, I will see you guys later. Um, have a great weekend. Bye, guys.